Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program episode number 9, I think. 999! Yeah, so I'm in the middle of a mission, obviously. You don't need to stick around, but this is exactly what these science missions look like. And my god, you probably... I probably haven't explained this, have I now? This is the Tortanic 3. It is... I mean, if it looks like that, I think you're supposed to see a doctor. In our case, I think it's due to us being at time warp times three, but this is, again, type warp time you can see it deform. <laughs> it's like a transformer in action. Yeah, anyways, it's, it's, this is, this is about as slow as and painful as it gets as you make the long journey. This is not, I'm not even halfway there yet. Well, it looks like we're very, very tight on fuel, too. I probably shouldn't have used all those afterburner trying to get over the speed of sound, which I did achieve, by the way, note to everyone, it, it is possible to get this thing over the sound barrier. It's just impossible, unfortunately, to keep this thing, to keep this thing at, like, 800. I regret everything. This is the last mission I'm going to do on one of these type things. This thing is meant for one thing and one thing only, for grabbing science over here type stuff, maybe, I guess, one Maybe I can find the Badlands, the nearest Badlands that has a, a water area, because that is science I want to get. I might just take this one on the chin and not end up flying her home. Um, we have a little bit of cash to, to spare, and I, I mean, I guess I probably should mention what happened since last episode. So while we're flying here, and this is the slow, we are technically moving. Is this really? What? Okay, good. Yeah, let's go up to 3x, please. This thing cannot handle 4x, as probably you can tell based on the unnatural def deformation of the airplane at 3x. So what happened last time? I did nothing. I'm in the middle of doing the thing I'm supposed to be doing off camera. But it's so tedious, I just had to start the recording. So yeah, I did two tests, like basically at the launch pad. The LV Ant, 5001 Science. 4,001 science. I mean, I reversed those, but whatever. It's it's four and five, basically. So we got 9,002 science, and we're actually really close to getting uh, 460 science. This mission will actually give us all the science we need. The one thing we have right now is a bit of a dearth of science, or I mean contracts. We have a, a bit of a dearth of, of good contracts. I'm going over here to complete this, basically, because it's the only real one we have. The alternatives right now are Saving this guy from, what is Shuffle? What in goodness's name is this guy doing? Yeah, outside of the Munz orbit, I don't know. But whatever, we're gonna save him, just, it's gonna be a long time. I Hopefully we've like mailed him, you know, and <laughs> delivery. We've hopefully sent him a goodie bag with the stuff because it's gonna be a long time before I get him out. Ah, there's a three X, it's right there. So yes, it does take quite a long time for these little science journeys. If you end up being below 800 meters per second. So I think from now on we're going to stick with the other one. But this is fine. This is the last mission. Again, I'll probably just take this one on the chin and just recover from... Well, basically as far as close as I can get before my nerves fray and I, I crack. We are probably going to... I mean, this includes a lot of wasted time getting, you know, turbo... I was on afterburners for a long time. One question I still have is when you're up this high in the atmosphere and you're thrust is basically full, which I'll kick that up just for demonstration purposes here. The thrust, because you're so high up in the air and I'm not in wet mode, um, is very low. And that does translate to a low fuel flow. I'm kind of curious about this. I've been debating like all the different angles that I can think about. Does this effectively mean that you're not burning that much fuel? I mean, fuel flow seems to be pretty self-explanatory. But I'm trying to think, so you're going way up here and you don't have that much thrust. If you had low thrust, low fuel flow, and still had high speed, that would just mean very good fuel efficiency, right? And this is maybe not that fuel efficient just because I can probably be doing this fuel flow and this thrust down you know, lower and there'd be more drag, but I mean, is it, I guess, is it less fuel efficient when the thrust drops or is it purely just the thrust is dropping so the engine isn't as powerful um, I don't know if the um, ratio of fuel flow to thrust changes I guess it's just something I should look at a little bit more 
uh, a little bit more carefully. Anyway, this is the way it is. We're here and we're flying and I'll cut away and uh, yeah, so once I'm done with this mission, we'll have more than enough science to do, um, well, a couple things. Actually, there's some options. We actually have to talk about it. Hopefully I get so much science that we can do two things because we do have a mission right now to rendezvous two vessels in the orbit of Kerbin. And uh, we need 90 science, I think. It might be 45, but I think it's 90 science to get one of the ones to unlock the, the junior Clampatron. I know that's only the junior Clampatron, but to fulfill this mission, I'm willing to make whatever ridiculously garbage vehicle. Um, we might try to do it with, uh, yeah, some solid rocket booster nonsense, as it's pretty much par for the course in the series now. Oh god, I gotta go back and take care of this aircraft and put on a YouTube video or something. <laughs> We got plenty of uh, Terra Invicta to entertain myself, so at least I have that. Well, I'm actually finding that this uh, design, not too surprisingly maybe, because I, I did line up everything in a line that was intentional. Sometimes I've stacked things on top and you know, you just, for some reason, you just don't have very good aerodynamic profile that way. This thing is kind of like a glider. It just keeps going. Sometimes I want it to kind of bleed off speed without doing anything and it just doesn't. I think it's time to actually bring this thing down. And I thought I'd bring you in for this because this could be catastrophic. You might hear some real cursing. Oh, let's have some fun and turn on the lights. I probably won't need the brakes. Uh, if I can get down at all, it'll be that'll be what I want. Is this really the? It is. We'll we'll, we'll keep that one. So this is the Badlands, we should get a splash down for it. Yeah, this thing just feathers on in nicely, so nicely. Beautiful. Okay, here we go, nice and slow now. Nice and slow. I'll turn off the lights just because they might be draining our batteries. They indeed are. And there we go. Turn off SAS. No battery loss. And are we splashed down? I don't know why I'm hitting the brakes. That's not going to work. Um, let's go ahead and do a science report. All right, great. So I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure I've already done the Badlands science. So I'll go ahead and do all the rest of the science and then I'll take off and get out of here and I'll see you back at the base. Okay, I... <laughs> I didn't um, plan on making this the entirety of the episode. It's still only 10 minutes recording time or so. But it has been four hours. It hasn't been four hours, I guess. This uh, doesn't, you know, time dilation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so this does get time dilation. So you can probably think of this as only two hours. I think two hours does make sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually like already about 20 minutes past the time when I normally go to sleep. And I haven't even done this darn recording. <laughs> anyway, I thought that since I spent all this darn time, I'm going to force you to sit here and endure the final approach. Going home. So this thing, I mean, because of its weird, wingy, floaty nature, is actually incredibly easy to land. So that's nice. We'll do all the nice light effects. And I also want to see what kind of recovery I get. I don't even know what this thing costs, but I think that she's going to be, I think she's going to recover very nicely. Look at that. Super smooth. Did I show you at 3X? Oh my gosh, this thing at 3X looks like a plate of jello going over a bumpy road in the back of a pickup. Oh shoot. Well, get me to the end of the runway. Silly science missions, but this is the crux of Kerbal Space Program, in my opinion. I need to be able to do these silly missions and probably just take more time between episodes if I have to. It takes, you know, two real life hours to complete one science mission. Never again, by the way. It won't happen, I'm sure of it, because there's lots of. I mean, there's just lots of little things that we need to. Anyway, uh, notice, by the way, I'm, I'm now using canards. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, very, very attractive. Mm hmm. Not sure what else we need to talk about. Okay, just roll to the end. You know what? This is no. It's not good enough. Going risky here. 
Two X is about all I can do. Okay, let's go. Ooh. And that should definitely be all the science we need to do. Well, the next two things. I can also. Ah, that's what I should have done. Should have showed you how much um, we got, like money-wise and science-wise, from the from completing the actual seismic studies mission. So eighty science. My goodness, that's actually. I mean that that's amazing. That's I was expecting maybe sixty. So I mean eighty is only twenty more, but that's eh, much more than I expected. Most of it's going to be from splash down in the Badlands, which it doesn't actually show it as splash down, but those those are splash down. Doesn't actually say it anywhere that we are splash down. Okay, well it'll show it here. Okay, so. 78, 389, oh dear, that's not that high. 78, 389, so 78, 4. Oh, okay, 78, 4. We got all but 700 back from this. The Tritanic 3. By the way, I keep forgetting to kill this off. Every time I do it, just a waste of that. Um, other things that I might change about this, I, God, I will never use this again, but I think we can actually get away with a, probably even one less barometer. Probably one less of each of these. I just don't. They're not. They're not used very often. Okay. Well, that's the Tritanic three. While we're here, we might as well head on over to the R and D place. I do want to check one thing. Is it that I was splashed down? So splash surface splashed. We've done essentially four things. Oh, I I missed the mystery goo from. Okay. Thank God I got it from the Badlands. <laughs> I missed it from what the shores? No. From the water. Okay, I didn't take Mr. Goof in the water. That's fine. I mean, I'm probably splashing down the water just from rockets, which don't have the Mr. Goo with them. But we can change that. Okay, let's go over to technology then. And so I wanted to get to here, which is going to take 460. But I also want to get to here so that I can do the Clampotron, which is needed for our next mission. I mean, if we want to do the merging of two parts in orbit... You know what's really exciting is you can do one of the missions, it's on the, it's landed. I mean, you can do it while landed. I'm just a little disappointed that we can't do the next mission. I want to do a landing on Mun. I don't want to do this. Uh, anyway, they're, they're guiding me. I should just trust them. So question, can we do all the things I want to do? No, not really. What is this one going to give me? Atmospheric fluid spectro. I mean, this is actually pretty important to get. I'm going to do it right away. This also gives us the boom. Magnetometer? No, I must have already gotten that. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, so fair enough. We'll do this. And we're just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit short of being able to do this, in which case I can do the next mission. So that means what? Probably... Well, we just completed another mission, so I can look at contracts. Let's first just recap what I just did. Um, 8800, 4, 8800, 4. I mean, it's, it's, in, it's not really substantial anymore. These things are you know we have contracts which can do a lot better for us speaking of let's go over there bring Munstone back with you I'm gonna accept this for sure this sounds awesome but also we might not be quite ready to do that yet find a Munstone have a curveball pick it up and return it to Kerbin we suspect you can find one in one of these in the far side crater twin craters or aren't there Munstones all over the place well, I'll accept it nonetheless. This, I mean, I already mentioned this, I'm sure, but this is my bread and butter, doing these missions that are just flybys of the Mun. Ah, uh, but otherwise they, oh. Collect 50% of the surface deployed seismic sensor science on the Mun. Ooh, could we fit a seismic sensor on our journey to the Mun? I mean, I'm going to accept this mission anyway, because I, I love the idea of trying to do it. I think it can be done. It doesn't seem that terribly difficult. The reward for this is quite nice, as far as money goes. It probably makes it worth doing just for the money. I mean, this is like a monetary contract, pretty much. We'll accept that one as well, just because I don't want it to time out. But otherwise, yeah, I'm not sure... I'm not extremely keen on any of the rest of these. I, I I could do this one. It would give us a little bit. It would give us the science I need. 
No, then I have to design a new vessel. Okay, so what is the next plan then? Uh, let me hide myself in... Well, I guess I'll go back to mission control and go to active. So what do we have here? We have these two I'm not going to do. This one I can probably do. Well, in true Tortuga fashion, I couldn't make a decision about what contract or what approach to take, so I just decided, go out and get more science. I, um, with the unlock of the atmospheric scanner thing, the fluid analyzer, or whatever it is, we actually have a ton of science available to us. So atmospheric analysis, I just flew. Well, anyways, 116 science earned. Um, 150, oh my gosh, that atmospheric fluid thing is very, very expensive, I see. How much are we getting back for that? I, I've landed basically right here, a little bit before this. Hopefully I get, it says 100% value, so I'm kind of trusting that that is true. It does look like it is true for the most part, but more importantly, let's go over to the, yeah, this one. Good, 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 we got uh, all of it back, so. 154988. Let's see what that started out as. 154988. 154988. Good. We only lost like 300. Okay, so this is the new Tortanic 3. It's just loaded up with a bunch of these atmospheric analysis. What are they called? Atmospheric fluid spectroviriometer. Very easy to get these because you get, um, you get, actually, this is biome specific, not just for low, but also for high atmosphere. So I probably should be slapping a few of these on the Tortanic 1, which probably still has the capability, unlike this one, I think, to get over 18,000 kilometers, or 18,000 meters. This is kind of a difficult crap. I mean, you can see I added another, I wanted more surface samples. What does this get us? Let's not, you know, let's actually make something out of this episode. Well, the good news is, besides the good news that the sun is coming up, so I now can put a whole bunch of atmospheric fluid analyzers, whatever they are, on my little uh, Fido. Fido can go out and collect more science. He loves to play fetch. But the most important thing is, um, I think in order to do a rendezvous mission, we're going to need monopropellant. But you might ask yourself, well, what's the point of attaching monopropellant? Yeah, this is, this is perfect. If you don't have thrusters. <laughs> so... If you want thrusters, I mean, we're there already, but okay, well, let's just see what we got. We have the thud, that shouldn't be considered, why is that considered a thruster? It doesn't use monopropellant. Definitely does not use monopropellant. Uh, yeah, anyways, the first thruster, as you can see, you have something here. This is also not what I want, but yeah, it's, it's over here. It's the one we're already looking at. So in order to get this, I need... 45 plus 90, 135 science. Well, look at that. We actually have it. So we're going to get some wings and winglets or whatever. I think this is actually a control surface to a degree. So we could probably slap those on our... I mean, those might work for canards. Anyway, we'll research it just out of necessity. We have gotten most of the science that I want to get. Only missing this one, the Gravmax science thing. After that, we're done. So just need to get, work our way up to 500 science. No big deal. Uh, we do need the next research facility for that, but there's probably a little bit more science I can hoover around KSC before we get to that point. Anyways, I've purchased it, there it is. Anyway, what we're gonna design here now is going to be our first um, probe, probe-based vessel. Yeah, for lack of a better word. This is gonna be kind of a stupid design. I actually don't really care much about this thing. I just want this to be a rendezvous, so we're gonna do something like very, very stupid. How stupid? Very stupid. I want the docking. Okay, where is the docking under? Is it under utility? Did I miss it here? Oh, wait a second. Oh no. Don't save. Oh no. Did I just box us out of the ability to do... No! Okay, well, I will be back. I will get Fido hard at work. There is plenty of atmospheric fluid to, to investigate, so I should very easily get us up to 90. We need this because we don't have any means 
of coupling together until we can at least get the Clampotron docking port junior. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll take Fido out for a walk and uh, I'll be back. My, oh my, Fido has become very expensive, over 100k for this little boy. Anyways, let me go for a walk now. Oh gosh, why did I upgrade the ramp? I forgot about this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about upgrading the ramp. I forgot about this. Okay, from now on, we're no longer launching from here. We're always gonna launch from, oh no! Fido, you're okay, buddy. Coast, coast, all right. Okay, we made it. I kind of probably taken it from there, but you know, now that we're on the way, yeah, yeah, okay, good. We're all good, we're all good. What I notice is from this angle, it kind of looks like a dinosaur with the, you know, like the armor on the back, like almost like a stegosaurus type thing. That's a nice look. Anyways, Fido is super maneuverable. He's just a, a joy to collect science with. It actually kind of makes me sad that he's not more of a pain in the butt because it just doesn't really feel right. <laughs> anyway, we're done here. I can also, after this one, I can quickly do some uh, launch pad and runway missions just by putting, you know, three of these on anything, which three I think gives you 100%. But look at that, 35.8 science. We got the 90 we need. So let me just relegate any other future little missions to collect atmospheric fluid analysis. We can do that after this episode. First, get the science. Science. There. So unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, we were able to beeline here a little bit and here. But unfortunately, we <laughs> end up going, uh, you know, basically as a wave <laughs> emanating outward from the first tier. Uh, you don't end up being able to specialize that much if you do, you know, if you follow the plan that they want you to follow. The man, he's got me. That's okay. So yeah, now we're going to try to design, now that we have all the parts I need, hopefully. Just a probe, just a satellite type mission, and the thing it needs to have is some um, RCS. So I can just put that directly on it if I want. I want some RCS for, um, we probably only need the smaller block. I think we can get away with a smaller block and maybe just do four of them. And then maybe... Okay, we'll, we'll see. I, I'm thinking, like, what am I going to do about the propellant? I need to put... Oh. Oh, no. Wait, no, no. Fuel, 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 fuel. <gasps> yes. Very good. Oh, yeah. That's, that's not going to happen. I want it to, you know, not be so stupid. <laughs> there, probably the best I can do. So this is gonna have a lot of monopropellant on it, and then we need a docking thing on top of this, so that's probably not gonna work. This is gonna be hideous. This is gonna be hideous. Well, let me put the docking clamp on first. I think that's what we need to do. Coupling, there it is, there she is. That's what I was expecting. Only one of these, please, thank you. Interesting. I would prefer this to be exactly perfectly centered, which I'm not sure how to do exactly, so we're just going to have to wing it. Looks pretty good. Now I can get to putting on monopropellant if I want, but okay, we can probably build the rest of the rocket. Now, what does this thing need to do? It just needs to get to space. Drag is going to be pretty bad on this thing here, unless I do... I could do a decoupler. But can I do a decoupler? With a com I mean, that's going to be so expensive, but let me just test if this is possible. I need aerodynamics, which I'm now at. No, I need coupling first. Could we do something like a... Whoops, wrong one. Well, <laughs> you can, Tortuga, you can. We would need to invert this anyway. But you shouldn't. And then what, put like a nose cone on it? I just want to see, just humor me for a moment here. So 
So this nose cone is 240. Wait, we're at 1800. 240. The coupler is 200. Okay, I, I'll take it. We'll do it. Will it work? I don't know. I, I hope that this reduces the drag. Lightning? Lightning dragon? Is this gonna work? Let me know. All right, now we need uh, some some way of actually moving this around. You know what? I'm gonna renege on my, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do some changes here. I'm expecting that this thing might actually need to do a lot of thrusting around with the thrusters. Oops. So we're gonna get the big ones on there. Uh, we're just gonna go, go big or go home. Sometimes you just gotta go big or go home. That is pretty massive. It's horrible. It's ugly. It's terrible. Well, okay. Let, let me put a small engine. I don't think we need. Uh, I'm kind of like waffling between two potential solutions here. You can do it this way. Or we could put an engine on and just have this only used for the final closing. We could do something like this. Now we need, well, in theory you should have three. And this would mean that that makes a little bit less, this is a little bit less preposterous because there's actually space for these jets to push. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know. I think this will actually work, but it's it's ugly. But I think it'll work. I think it'll work. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I, I'm interested in seeing the drag from this, too. Okay, so then let's do this NCS adapter. Oh, no, I want one of these, please. Oh, it worked. Okay, good. Now, this is only going to have an engine and then a coupler. I'm just going... This is totally flying by the seat of my pants here. But how much... By the way, this only has liquid fuel? This only has liquid fuel? This only has liquid fuel? Boy, I'm glad I looked at that before I just decided that was all we needed, because that would have been a very sad day. Oh, okay, wait. No, that's... <laughs> Dang it! Well, we're back to kind of a poopy design, but I, okay, we'll just do it. It's ugly. It's ugly. But it's functional, potentially, maybe, I don't know. You know what? I think that that might not even be that... That might not be that unaerodynamic. You're gonna have a little turbulence here. If you're going fast enough, it, I mean, I, I, yeah, eventually this is gonna be kind of like shielded by the flow of air. Okay, I'm gonna buy into my own BS here and pretend that this is fine. I mean, I think it's fine for a curveball, but even like for a, a real design, I, I'm not sure how preposterous that is. Besides being a structural weirdness, um, probably susceptible to something or, you know, cross drafts, <laughs> you know, the wind going the wrong way, I don't know. Yeah, there's lots of ways this can probably fail, but let's leave well enough alone for the moment. Let's get another coupler. Very glad that these couplers are so cheap. I, I was mistaking them with the these couplers, the D couplers, I should say. Yeah, those would be more of a pain. So we good, we good, we good. Now, as is tradition, we're getting this thing to space with solid rocket boosters. Now, what does this give us? That gives us thirteen hundred. So total, we're at two thousand. It's obviously, I mean, this is at sea level. And somebody told me you can change what this is showing by clicking it. I'm probably just doing this wrong, but they did tell me I can... It's definitely got to go first. That's the last thing that needs to go. Actually, honestly, this can pop earlier. In fact, I think it will because we won't need to boost. There's no reason to boost um, the nose cone and the, the coupler in space, so yeah. The very last thing this thing is going to do, actually, is just be a little tiny satellite and then merge with another satellite and then, I mean, at that point, whichever one has more fuel is going to thrust backwards so it re-enters and blows itself up. I don't want that garbage in my space. 
fall down and hit a pedestrian for all I care. This is not enough, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is. It would be preposterous to think that that would be enough. But this is probably enough. Not really sure about it. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, you know... It, Thousand. Yeah, that's definitely more than we need. What? You thought I was serious? I wasn't serious. It's just, how the hell are we gonna control it, though? This has no reaction wheel. <gasps> Duh! We have RCS! RCS. 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 I can feel the chant. It's rising from the, the people. RCS. RCS. I mean, again, like everything we're doing here, this is just a complete catastrophe waiting to happen. I have no idea if this should or shouldn't work. But we're gonna try it, damn it. We're gonna try. We do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. I was not a very convincing Kennedy, but... Tailfin, Tailfin, where are you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I use the cheapo tail fan? How much is the cheapo? What? 640? <sighs> Forget it. Okay, good. So this is, um... <laughs> what do we name this? It's basically a variant of the Radiance. But I, I suppose I can look at my list and pick out a new name. One sec. And the winner is... My first ship number two. <laughs> there it is, my first ship number two. One. <laughs> the first. I don't think, maybe, maybe this is the one exception where I don't add the one. Yeah, let me open the other my ship number two and delete that one. I don't want to accrue too many. So this is good. So th I think this can get to orbit. I mean, it certainly can get to orbit. It Okay. It has the explosive thrust to get to orbit. Will it get to orbit? That's a good question. Even though those stabilizer things only cost, I mean, are free because you get a full recovery for it, I'm still not going to use it. This thing's going to... Oh my god, okay, we're going to use it. We're going to use it. Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? It was clipping, wasn't it? See, don't, never, never upgrade the launch pad. Never upgrade the launch pad. Ever. I think the third one is less janky, but my god, it's just terrible. Terrible things happen. Like this, like this. Okay, that should work. Ooh, infinity. is good enough. Okay, so this thing is probably going to be... Oh, why? What am I doing here? What the hell am I doing? Well, I don't know. This thing is probably going to be a disaster because I didn't I didn't think about it at all. I really didn't use my brain for half a second to think how fast this thing is going to take off. It's going to have so much thermal... I mean, so, so much... Um, Air resistance, my god. See, and this, well, that's actually perfect. Well, okay, let's watch it. I'm pretty sure, I'm 90% sure we're gonna redo this. It's, it's nice though. And let's take a look at our RCS usage. You know what, so far not so bad. Far not so bad. A little bit unstable. Yeah, definitely a little bit too fast too. Okay, start. Oh my god. Okay, very unstable. Very unstable. Oh my goodness. Just come on, you 
too bizarre. Oh my god! <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. We're still good. Just make smaller movements. Okay, that is what I wanted. Oh my god, please. Okay, just abort that. Oh my god, no, 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 no! What did happen? What? Wait, no, no, it's good, it's good, it's good! It's true! We don't, we don't need it. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Come on. Okay, yeah, I mean, a hundred, you might say a hundred nine, ten, yeah, it, it, it was a bit of overkill, a bit of overkill. But we're very easily going to get to orbit with this. So this is crazy. I, it, you know what the remarkable thing is? That these stupid designs are working. No. No. Oh, no, I'm not even going to try it. I'm going to redo this design. I got to move this down. I don't want... I think right now what happens is when they touch, these might bump into each other. So I will revert. But hey, that's really cool that we have a design that just by kind of like sheer, sheer will of stupidity, it actually worked. So let's um turn off this, let's offset this a little bit. Okay, wow, when that nose cone lost, what launched, I was like, no, we're doomed! But no, we weren't. We weren't doomed at all. I wanted it to be a little bit like... I mean, I probably should move it all the way down. It's more effective down, but it just looks weird. Okay, that looks a little bit better. That makes me feel better. Okay, my first ship number two. Let's give this another go. I'm actually kind of proud of this thing. 8,500? Well, I think we could have done it cheaper, but how could we have done it cheaper? How much are these monopropellant things? 200, okay. So how much are these thrusters? Oh, they're cheap. 45. Um, take off 400 for these things, so we're going to get 100% of that back. It's, I think it's the... Okay. We're going to save some money. That's good. That's good. We can't get that back anyway. Okay, here we go. We got it under 7,000. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, gosh. This episode's gonna go long, I can tell. Why does that matter? That does not matter. Okay, um... While we have a moment, I think I will... slightly reduce the thrust. Okay, this is fine. This is... this has gotta be it. This has gotta be good. So let me check the ordering of everything. Confuse the hell out of me when I... I pressed the, the nose cone dump, but it's fine. It's actually perfect. You don't need a nose cone in, in space. Don't let those silly little sci-fi universes like Star Wars fool you. You don't need an aerodynamic, uh, you know, frame in a place without air. Well, here we go. Remarkably stable. We have no electric charge on this thing, and not a single solar panel. Wow. Ah, <gasps> not true. The terrier, please. The terrier, do you have no? Damn it. Well, that is a problem, isn't it? That is a problem. All right. Well, let's keel over. Oh, oh, okay, well, first of all, great, yes, lots of things that are great about that, but also not, you know, the execution. Okay, I know, we just need to put a solar panel anywhere. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. We're going to probably crack 7,000 again. No, 
No, no, no, no. I just... A battery, you say? A battery, you say? A battery, you say? 80? 360? So also help with the uh, other issue I was facing. By the way, I, I should actually check if these are, you know, having, if this has drag issues. Now this would have drag issues, I think. It's still kind of doing its thing. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'd love to run it through like a, a wind tunnel simulation type thing, but, but potentially has problems. Wow, that's way too big. Can we have like one that's like half that size? No, we don't have many ones. Out of curiosity, my ship number two. You're doing great, by the way, my ship number two. You're doing great. Very happy with you. When when would we get the miniaturized stuff? Yeah, I guess I'm crazy. Okay, fine. <clears throat> we only need one solar panel, and then we can just rotate so that it aligns. We have plenty of energy now, I think. No, 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 not like that. Drop this one first, drop that one next, and then kick that off. Honestly, yeah, I think I will do this in this order. I'll start this and I'll just um, put it on X so it's zero. Oh, wait, 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 that's the one I want. That's the one I want, that's it, that's the one. Okay, 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 now we're Still a little bit over what I wanted, but that's fine. Okay, we're, we're going, we're going. 7,300 or whatever. And we're getting zero of it back, so this is not one where we're going to recover any of it. So we're all going right to the grave. Well, that's not true. We're, gonna, we're getting 400 of it back. So, how are we doing now as far as... Oh my god, that. Electric charge is positive. Which way is the sun? Okay, good. So we have sun, contact with sun. Very good. We actually, I didn't want three solar panels. I guess it's nice. It has nice symmetry. I conveniently positioned each one of them right under. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to try to be very gentle about this. Slowly. Oh, no, 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 that might have been because I didn't have it activated right away. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, see, I think that the you have a little bit of a dip. I wonder if it's better to take off from the ground. Well, not if you start spontaneously rolling around and curballing. And it's really Arma physics. I don't know what Arma physics is doing in Kerbal Space Program. Or was it... Is it actually... Kerbal Space Program physics that's in Arma. Which one really came first? Being very gentle about this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Now you gotta be kidding me. Too early. Too early. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Sorry. <laughs> Not too early, Tortuga. Not. Don't get. Don't get cocky. Kid. Oh, I didn't do anything. So far, so good. No terrible tilting yet. We are tilting. We are tilting. We are tilting. All right, this needs to be rethought. Gosh, I'm so close. I can feel it. I'm so close. Top heavy, maybe. Okay, let's go to a two panel design. Pretty low. Maybe what we need is just more RCS. I don't want to admit defeat, but I might have to put wings back on this thing. I mean, if it doesn't get up there without wings, then yeah, well, it doesn't get up there without wings. It's just not functional.
Let's try. Well, we know this will work. I mean, the problem is the the three wings is not ideal. It does contribute a fair amount of rotation, which I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, yeah, we, I know what we can do. We're gonna wing it. <laughs> Never gets old. First importantly, is this the center? And then this, what the heck's going on there? Just get another one. That one was malfunctioning. Oh, right, it's actually working. It's just inside the part. Fair enough. I mean, I, it's because I didn't take this snapping thing off. That's fine. I don't really care. Okay, here we go. My ship number two. We're at 8,400. So, not as much... Not quite as good. But this thing should be at least good because of the solar panels. Indefinitely up there. Please don't fail me. So, th the reason why I'm doing it this way is because we actually have more stability in our turn with only two wings than three. And hopefully RCS keeps us from rotating. So I think this is actually fundamentally, I mean, a better, more stable vessel despite having no wing capability to control in one direction and no RCS on the bottom in the other axis. I should say axis, not direction. So far so good. I really want to test the waters oh no 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 we can't control that oh no oh no we can rotate wow I still I'm still convinced this is okay I'm still one more time I wonder if it could be the top part which is causing this instability. Let's take a look. But not using monopropellant means things are stable. That's good. Just gonna try to let her stay. So we really want to turn, turn, turn. Let's get just even higher. I think it's been my fault I've been turning too early. I mean, I, you want to turn early, crying out loud, but... Yeah, it's working this time. Okay, kind of. Okay, you know, it, it was working. <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid thing. I hate you. 180, oh my god. 180. Well, look at it. I mean, why did we mess with success? We had this thing working on the first try. I guess we did shave off a little bit. Okay, alright. Um, we can get ourselves lined up because of RCS. We don't want to use all of it, though. Perfect here. All right, well, we are in space. 87,000. We better get going. ASAP. Um. Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> 
Yes, that was awesome. <laughs> you know, I mean, my brain was, it's not like it wasn't functioning. I had to have known that was going to happen. But no alarm bells went off when I committed that action. Just nothing. Electric charge is looking good. Alright, we're in business. Oh god, that's, um... Man! That, this is actually gonna work! Okay, just wait to get a little bit further. Oh my gosh, this thing is gonna be so high up when it's when all is said and done. And actually, pretty hard to rendezvous with. The next one's gonna have to... Sp we need energy! We need energy! We have plenty of energy! Oh my gosh, we have so much Delta V! We have so much Delta V! Alright, now is the time I think we have to start burning. Trying to flatten that uh, that orbit out a little bit. Just go up this way. Oh no, it doesn't matter. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Our propellant is pretty static. Okay, let's wait a little bit longer. We're already at 203. I don't really need to extend this anymore. Let's try that now. Okay. So, as long as we're pointing down, no, 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 we gotta point up, actually. Alright, very weird orbit, but we'll just try to mirror it with the other one. And this is done! This is in orbit! This is gonna stay there. So, back to launch center. Do I try to time it? Well, first let's recover that. I'll take my 400, thank you very much. Um, if we are successful with the next one, as in if we don't totally butcher the takeoff, if we're a little bit better about it, we'll actually have more, we'll, we'll be able to, yeah, we'll be able to um, shorten our orbit, we won't be as high up, and then we'll catch up to the other one quicker. Okay, let's try it. My ship number two, number two. It's kind of perfect that we chose this name. So we do need to wait for a while before we can turn. This is, by the way, I would say probably a little bit too fast. No, maybe it's about right. Doesn't feel that bad. Oh, it's got the wiggles. No, no, no. I'm not time warping. Please don't. Didn't sacrifice anything to the Kraken. The Kraken is hungry. For those of you who don't know, and I didn't know for a long time, Kraken is the way people refer to the jankiness, the oscillation suddenly building up. Okay, we're over 10k, I'm going for it. Oh, this is going to be much better. How did we do this one so much better? How is it that this one was so much better? Gosh, it's like perfect. Is this real? Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. What have I done? I mean, something must be going wrong. I can't believe that this is. Oh, it's perfect. 156x! That's what oh, I wow! Wait, this is awesome! This is so cool! We did it in only like it's it's still probably twice as wasteful as it as it needs to be, but that's why you got this big rocket for no good reason. Now, just because we're doing okay doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet, but we're gonna have I mean I assume we have a lot more orbitable velocity to work with when we get to the top here. It's still bleeding off and Wow, we have 3,000. We just have so much to work with, it doesn't even matter. Okay, let's center there, and prepare to burn. Yeah, we're down, we're under, down. yeah, it was not great. Not great, not great. We're 
definitely off axis, but we can fix that later. Very cool. And Apple Apps says time is dropping, which is good. I'm going to let it catch up a little bit, though, because I think we're ahead of the curve a little bit. Good. Yeah, we're... It's taking more than a second to go a second. 17, 17, 17, 17. <laughs> Let it catch up a little bit. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. Right. Should be good. Eighty? Eighty thousand? Is that what I remember? Okay. Set as target. Alright. In our first pass... Target will be here when we're here. Now we're gonna have to align it and do all this fun stuff, which I'm actually joking, it's not really that fun, but that's okay. All right, at this 1.2, let's rotate. <clears throat> now both of them can do the rotations, but since this one was so much more efficient, I'm assuming that it has more energy to burn. How's that looking? Point 0.1. Okay, good enough. We'll leave it there. Only 45 for that. Jeez. Let's uh <clears throat> go over to that. <clears throat> Turn off RCS. We don't... Oh, this thing doesn't have any... I trust that this thing can't rotate on its own, can it? How are we doing, by the way, on power? So, electric charge is good. Now, we're not going to have electric power when we're blocked by the the planet here, but I think we'll still be okay. Okay, good enough for me. I'm happy with it. All right, so we will be here. Target will be there, that's the first one. But we are going to catch up because our orbit is much smaller, so we'll eventually catch up. So we'll just wait for that to happen. I think that I'm going to call this video to a close here. We'll actually have to do the, the intercept on this future episode since that took so long. But I want to say thanks for watching. I had fun. Hope you're still enjoying the series. We'll, get, uh, we'll, we'll finish this mission in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.